Hello, Potato. If you've been watching this channel over the last couple months, you'll of course know that I went to Disneyland towards the end of last year. And in the very first video from that series, I bemoaned my inability to get a crushed penny at Pea Soup Anderson's. The crushed penny machine was out of order, just as it had been back in May when I went previously. However, I think I made up for it by getting crushed pennies at the Disneyland Park. In the second video in the series, at World of Disney, I did find a couple penny crushers and bought some there, but that's not where it ended. So please come with me on my journey to turn U.S. currency into priceless collectibles. So we found another penny press, Raja's Mint over in Adventureland. And this one actually has like nine different designs to choose from. We have Adventureland, we have Indiana Jones, and we have Moana, which doesn't actually have any representation in Adventureland, but where else would you put it? So uh, I'm torn. I don't know which one I want to do here. I think, I think we'll do an Adventureland one. Got Minnie, Mickey, or oh, the Jungle Cruise. We're going to do the Jungle Cruise. We're gonna get us a Jungle Cruise penny. Let me just get a dollar out. Cause see, I brought dollars this time. I just don't have them easily at hand where I don't have this weird awkward moment in each one of these penny videos where I have to fish one out of my wallet. So let's uh, feed it in. And we're gonna select Jungle Cruise. Let me make sure the camera's facing in the right direction. And there we go, the penny drops. There we go. And then we have a awesome little Jungle Cruise penny. Let's see on the back side. It says Adventureland. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Another crushed penny for the collection. Okay, so this is the one I think I'm actually going to get all the pennies on. And that, of course, is Haunted Mansion with Hitchhiking Ghosts. We have Nightmare for Christmas. We have uh, the Haunted Mansion logo. So this time, I think we are going to do all of them. Uh, English? English would be preferable. Let's get all eight. Might as well use the card for it, right? All right. Oh, we have to apparently have to swipe it. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna get all of the pennies. It's thrilling to watch it make eight pennies, isn't it? If you thought watching one penny made me watch eight in a row. Is that it? I think we're... Are we done? Was that eight? I think that was eight. Right, let's get... They are quite warm. All right, let's see what we've got here. We've got... We're going one at a time this way. We've got... Ezra. We've got... They'll say Disneyland on the back, in case you were wondering. Uh, Gus. We've got Jack. We've got the Nightmare 20th Anniversary Penny. I don't know when the 20th Anniversary was, but it's still available. We've got, I think that's uh, Jack as Sandy Claus. It's upside down. That would be helpful for our setup. Oh, it's zero. It's a zero. We've got, got three more here. We've got Phineas. The Haunted Mansion plaque. And finally, 
Sally. So that's a that's a bunch more pennies for the collection, and that's probably the only time I'm going to buy all of them. Tucked away in Critter Country, I found another coin maker for Splash Mountain, and since that's about to go away, I thought it would be a good one to get. And uh, while the Mickey ones are cool, I think I'm going to go with the actual Splash Mountain characters, just because again they're the ones that are going away. So we're going to feed it our dollar. And looks like that is the middle one. It actually comes down a little splash mountain in the thing itself. And it's dropped. And it's out. And it's um well that's a little a little off, but to say splash mountain on it and on the front, we do have so kind of weirdly warped one, but we do have Brer Bear and Brer Fox, and I think Brer Rabbit there, riding Splash Mountain. Another penny for the collection. So the penny hunt continues. We're over here in DCA this time. And they've got a bunch over here on Buena Vista Street. Uh, most of them are kind of weird, like there's like a Finding Dory one, which I have no interest in. But I thought um, this would be a nice design. So let's give it our dollar. And... You love over California Adventure. There it goes, and here it comes. So it says Buena Vista on this side, and Disney's California Adventure on this side. And then over here, we have actually a Christmas one. So I think being that it is a Christmas season, as we're recording this, look at ourselves a Christmas Mickey. So let's pop in a dollar for that. And get ourselves a Christmas Mickey penny. And here we have a very warm Mickey Mouse with packages and the backside says Disney California Adventure. That's two more pennies. We have like, we have so many pennies when we're done with this video. Over here outside of Big Top Toys, we found a couple more penny machines. So I'm gonna go ahead and get me a Radiator Springs Racer. I don't know why this one isn't in Cars Land in one of the gift shops there, but it exists. So let's get ourselves a Radiator Springs Racers penny. So this means that whatever penny I pick is always the one that's like the last. Maybe it's because it's like the one that the last person bought too, because I'm, I'm choosing the best pennies. And. Alright. Go! I think I have upside down again. Yep, Radio Spring Racers, and the back side says Buena Vista Street, which is weird because Radio Springs Racers isn't on Buena Vista Street. And then over here, this one's a harder choice, because we have the, the Walt statue, we have Oswald. Oswald's pretty cool. Um, you, you know, you see more, more merchandise for him now, but you didn't used to. I think we're gonna go with Oswald from this one. And press the button. See, I'll see Oswald's the first one. So I guess maybe Oswald's not the best choice for people on this one, but he's my choice. Again, Buena Vista Street. And Oswald the Rabbit. Two more for the collection. So we are in the Avengers Superstore uh, for Avengers Campus, which oddly is nowhere near Avengers Campus. It's way over in Hollywood. In I'm pretty sure what used to be the Muppet Vision 3D Theater. Uh, but we did find another penny machine with Marvel stuff in it. We have Cap. We have, let's see, it just went away. We have Cap, Black Widow, or Spider-Man. I am gonna go with Captain America. This one takes quarters only, no dollars here. And this looks like it was built off of one of the older machines where it took three quarters or two quarters and a penny, because you normally wouldn't have that as two different things. So we're gonna, we're gonna go and get ourselves a Captain America penny. Oh no, it's a quarter. That's why it's so much, okay. Well, that'll be a, a different one for us. 
a Captain America quarter. I, I hope I put a, a shiny penny in there, a quarter in there. So that's, this is the first for the collection. A crushed quarter featuring Captain America and the Avengers Campus Disney California on the back. So yeah, it's not just a crushed penny video, it's just a crushed coin video in general. As long as I don't find any dollar ones, I think we'll be okay, but that's pretty cool. I, I definitely wouldn't get all three of them, but that's pretty cool. We are now in the LGM shop off of Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters, and I found a penny machine in here. And it's none of those five dollars for eight designs ones, but I don't really want eight of these. I'm, I'm kind of torn because I like LGMs, but I like Zerg, and I like Buzz. We have Buzz with the LGMs, but we do have a Zerg, and it's like uh, it's like the classic Zerg, the Toy Story 2 Zerg, not the Lightyear Zerg. I don't have a problem with the Lightyear Zerg. I just uh, I like the design of the animated Zerg a little better. So let's, uh, I think we'll get Zerg. Select language, English, just one for one dollar. No change is given. All right. And I feel like the chances of accidentally getting the wrong one are really good here. Let's make sure we pick Zerg. Okay. Hopefully it uh, registered the right thing. It says it's pressing our penny now. And here we have, yep, it is Emperor Zerg. It's a little, little warped. The Toy Story logo is a little off center, but uh, it's a clear imprint, so that's good. One more for the set. We have made our way back to Main Street USA and in the great moments of Mr. Lincoln building, there are some penny machines as well. And we're gonna get a couple out of this one. We've got, uh, looking for a, uh, oh, that one's got to, that does have Br'er Fox on it, doesn't it? But I think we're gonna do um, Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey here and Main Street USA. Let's feed it some money. And we'll do the Main Street one first. Because of course the Sorcerer's Mickey one would have been the quickest one to do but I do have a knack for always picking the wrong one. All right. So let's do, let it finish, cycling. All right. And then we'll do Sorcerer, Mickey, Disneyland. Let the memories begin. This is how they get pennies out of circulation, you know. And, all right, and the penny drops. All right, and our fresh, hot, shiny pennies. There's our Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey and our Main Street USA. Tucked away under Space Mountain by the Space Mountain exit is another penny machine. And we're not gonna, although I think we're gonna get, uh, just get the basic Space Mountain one here. Oh, gotta select your language, just one. Insert our dollar. And just the one with the Space Mountain logo. Honestly, all the ones on this one are pretty cool, but. I've already bought like all the Star Wars ones and all the uh, Haunted Mansion ones, so you gotta draw the line somewhere. And it's stuck, but it'll get knocked, there we go. And here we have our Space Mountain Penny. This is a popular one, there's actually a queue for this Crush Penny Machine. This is the first one that's actually had a line. But yep, just the Space Mountain show building. And uh, another one for the set. Okay, I think we found about all of the pressed penny machines. And yeah, I'm not buying everything from every one of them. But this last one here, I think, is one that we will buy 
all from. Uh, and it is in the Star Traders shop in Tomorrowland, next to whatever this incredibly annoying beeping thing is. I don't know what's making that noise, but I do wish it would stop. But this one has eight different Star Wars pennies in it. And yeah, I think we're gonna do, we'll do all eight, because it's, you get all eight for $5 or a dollar a piece. It would be, it, it would be a waste of money to not buy them all. So let's finish off our penny gathering with Star Wars. So the touch screen, English, 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 there we go. Take all eight. Use the card. Card. Oh, yeah, it's actually swipe. We will look away for that. And then we fade. And we fade, right? All right. Pressing your pennies now. You, you would think, being that there's two rolls, you could do like two at a time. If only they had mold matics here, I would totally get those too. Uh, that's not a good sign. There it goes. One of my pennies was stuck. And I think we're done. So we have eight hot, shiny pennies here. Yep, that's all of them. We've got, they all say Star Wars on the back. I don't think I have the camera set to quite the right distance for this, but uh, we've got, looks like Kylo. R2. BB-8. Master Yoda. Ray. Darth Vader, this one's a little off center. I guess that's part of the magic of getting the pressed pennies, right? Is that they're not always gonna be perfect. Luke, who uh, doesn't appear to have been pressed quite properly. His, a lot of the facial details are missing. And finally, get off center, we have Princess Leia. So that is our, our penny collecting for this trip. Uh, I've got quite a lot. Went from having just like that solving penny to now having a whole bunch of pennies. We may have been denied our uh, our Andersons, our piece of Andersons penny, but we've got plenty of other pennies to show for the trip. I hope you found this penny collecting adventure to be at all enter entertaining or interesting or interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe and thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. And uh, we'll just finish with a shot of like my favorite sign in Tomorrowland.